So this video is going to be about hydrophobic and hydrophilic substances. So we're going to start with this molecule right here, which is glucose. So glucose is a hydrophilic molecule, which means that it likes water, and so it will dissolve in water. So what makes this molecule hydrophilic? That's going to be these oxygen and hydrogen groups that are distributed all throughout the molecule. Because we know that the bond between an oxygen and a hydrogen atom is a polar covalent bond, which makes this molecule polar. We also know that water, again, with bonds between hydrogen and oxygen, is a polar molecule. So water is also polar. So we also know that like dissolves like. So a polar substance and an, another polar substance are going to be able to interact well with one another, and glucose will dissolve in water. So now when we have something like this molecule over here, on the other hand, we know that um, the carbon-hydrogen bond is a nonpolar covalent bond. So this molecule is going to be nonpolar or hydrophobic, which means it doesn't like to be with the water. So when we put something like this into um, a container of filled with water, what's going to happen is you'll see a layer form on top and that layer is going to only contain this nonpolar molecule, and then the water will be underneath it. And so we also see this just when you mix um, oil and water. The oil tends to flow on top because it's a nonpolar substance, so it's not going to dissolve in water. So just to review really quick, things with a lot of polar molecules in it are going to be polar, and they're going to dissolve in water, and so they're called hydrophilic. Things with a lot of nonpolar covalent bonds, they're going to be nonpolar and they won't dissolve in water, so they're going to be hydrophobic. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.